What's up, you guys? Isaiah with a chance here. This is a different video today. Is because you know why? It's because this is my. I think this, I believe this is my first upgrade kit video for Transformers figures, and and this is my first one. The first one I'm gonna start with is the um is the the Transformers Studio Series um Dark of the Moon Shockwave, which this he is number fifty six. And this is this came from um, DNA Designs, and I ordered this. I ordered this thing from Amazon, and this is a some some sort of like DK18. I don't know what that that means though. But here we have here is um here we have here is the front of um here we have here is the front of the um of the um of the of the weapon that he is gonna have, which is the this is the same weapon that he had on his other arm. And, but this one's actually still, still the same, but it has some new, I think it has some new stuff on it. And this came from D, DNA Designs. And on the, on this side, you know, same stuff. On this side, same, sorry, same stuff. On the back of the box, you get the, you get, um, all these accessories. Now, these are the same accessories, but these have, probably like have, um, rotations and stuff and whatever. Now he does have his hand, his um, his hand weapon, his actual hand, and his um, his um, his blade that that um was actually because his other blade was made out of rubber. This one's made out of um, probably like plastic or something. I can't remember, but there's um the upgrade kit. So so for the upgrade kit, so for the so for the package of the upgrade kit, I'm gonna go ahead and take um all this out. And I will bring Shockwave. I will I will get Shockwave um off of the shelf, and we'll get started by taking all this out. So here we have Shockwave's accessories out of the packaging, and and also here's Shockwave right about here. So he's actually off of the shelf, so I can get him upgraded. So there are a lot of cool things about this. Well, this thing actually, because you know Shockwave does have these. On his arms, but these are actually the same that he had on his on his arms that I will be upgrading him with with these things. You know, these are these these are from um the the stuff that he has on is from Hasbro, and this is from um this stuff is from D DNA Designs. So what should we start off with? Let's start off with is his um his canyon. I want to start off with his arm cannon. I think it probably. I think this arm cannon does look damn good. I think they did a really good job, um, probably upgrading it, because you know the other one is from Hasbro, and this one's probably like looking. This probably this actually looks a lot better, and I think I like this one better than the other one. So, um, so with this thing, you know what's really interesting. Is you can open this thing up. You can push this thing all the way back, which actually does. Oh, cool! And you can leave it back there if you want, I guess. With me, uh, I don't know. I'll have to think about it. Which is which one? I like it either leave it back or front. I'll just have to decide on that one. That's really cool. I think DNA Designs, I think DNA Designs did really good with this thing. And, um, next up is his, um, his blade. Now, I didn't like the rubber blade at all. I wasn't a huge fan of the rubber blade. It kind of just threw me off guard. I just, it just, just kind of just, what really threw me off with the arm blade, with this arm blade is it's pla it's probably made out of plastic and rubber. You know, this came from Hasbro. And I think Hasbro could have made this out of, like probably like a little bit like stale plastic or something, kind of like this. But with this, this is made out of like rubber. And the problem is, this does actually pop off easily with this one. With this, if you put with this one on this arm, um, this does stay on easily. But I think sometimes it does pop. It does 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 sometimes doesn't want to stay. So with this blade, I'm not a fan of this. But I'll just put it back on there and tell him ready to get him upgraded. But what's really cool about it is it opens up. 
See? I don't know if this actually happened in the movie where he actually had his blade looking like this. All I know is his, his blade was like this. But I think that's it for the blade. And last and lastly is his um his hand. Now this is the same exact hand, even though this hand this hand is made of um like rubber plastic or something. This actually this this rubber hand actually was made of plastic. Or oh, I'm sorry, take that back. Rubber, most likely. But with this, but with this, this actually actually um is man of rotation and articulation so and what's really cool that he can actually close his um his fingers now and now he oh, one second now he has a fist i guess <laughs> and you can rotate his hand i mean it's up to you if you want to um keep his keep having Keep his open his open wide hand. Um, if, it's up to you if you want to keep his hand open or closed. Like have him make a fist or something. If you have the up the up um the upgrade kit for Shockwave. And last but not least, he does have the menu. He does have the menu um that will show you how to upgrade it, how to upgrade Shockwave. So I think that's about it. So, so I think that's about um, mostly it for these accessories. So let's go ahead and get Shockwave upgraded. Okay, so to get Shockwave upgraded, first I'm gonna start off with the arm. I'm gonna start off with the arm cannon. First, what you wanna do is go ahead and just take this out very gently. There we go. And then next up, you want to go ahead and wiggle this. I'm going to try to wiggle this out. Hold on. Let me see if I can try to wiggle this out. Uh, there we go. There we go. And now we bring in the new, we bring in the new arm in, the new arm cannon in. And then we'll... Okay, I'm gonna have to show y'all. Give me one second. So, next, next, you wanna push this thing in until it clicks. You wanna push this piece in until it clicks in properly. Hold on, let me see what I'm doing. Give me one second. Ugh. Here we go. Hold on, let me see if I can get this all the way in. There we go. And now we got Shockwave's new arm. Well, this is the same one, but different. And for the hose, with this, I'm going to click this back into the... I'm going to click this thing back into his... I'm going to click this thing back into the hole. I'm going to do the best I can to do it gently. There we go. Now it's all the way in. And next up, next up, I'm going to move the blade. I'm going to move this rubber blade, which I don't really care about. And with this, with his, um, with this arm, with this forearm right here, um, I'm going to, Pull this all the way out. There we go. And I'm going to put this new one in.
Wait, is this the new one? Yeah, it's the new one. Just want to make sure. Make sure it goes in properly. Give me one second. Give me one second. Trying to put this thing in. There we go. Whew! That was that was a little bit tricky. And next, last but not least, is his blade. Now it's up to you um, if you want to um, put it on this arm or this arm. I would rather put it on the under side of the hole. And there we go. So, so I think that's about it. So when you're done, there you got, so there you got, um, there you have Studio Series Shockwave finally upgraded into its, um, new accessories. So here we have Shockwave finally upgraded, and sorry about that, I accidentally cut myself when I'm, when I was trying to take this thing off, but I'm fine. <clears throat> but, um, here we, so, so anyway, here we have Shockwave in, here we have here shock here we have here shockwave's new upgrade kit finally on him and I gotta say that this is probably better than the one we had from Hasbro. Um, I mean I think I like this upgrade kit better because uh you know shockwave um because uh shockwave probably does look great in his upgrade kit form so. So, I think this looks cool. So, like I said, so with Shockwave here, um, he can, it's literally up to you, um, it's literally up to you if you want to keep this, keep this thing forward or back, um, where's this cannon? Oh, let me see, uh, there we go. Um, I think I'd rather probably keep it back but it's not gonna stay back anyway so like i said it's up to you because if you have this upgrade kit though so i'm just gonna close that i mean if it doesn't close that's fine i'll just leave it alone it's no big deal yeah i'm gonna leave it alone i don't want to bother it so one of the things i really like about this um this really cool upgrade kit it looks movie accurate. It, it probably looks better, even though it does look the same. But this stuff has some really cool articulation to it, and 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 also you can now you can now Shockwave can finally um, bend his wrist. He can make a fist like he did. He can open his hands, and he can um, open his blade up. And now, Shockwave, and now with this blade, this blade doesn't even come off at all. I think it, it, it stays on tight, and I think I like this blade better than the rubber one. I think, I am going to keep these accessories, but I'm not going to put them back on Shockwave at all. So I'm just going to keep the newer, the newer upgrade kit. So, so for articulation, um, he can bend his arm, he can bend this arm and he can bend this arm pretty much fine, but the other arm actually bends all the way here. This one, um, not all the way, not much, but it, it's not gonna bother me. I'll probably get used to it. And he can move his hand. Yes, he can move his hand also. 
move his fingers, move his, and have his whole blade thing out, or have it in. I would rather keep it in, like, to make it more movie accurate. So, and that's an upgrade kit for Shockwave. Yeah, this was kind of tricky to, like, take all the stuff off, the, the older stuff off of him and put the new stuff on. That was kind of a little bit tricky, though. But I, but I think this upgrade kit does look cool. And I don't think there's... I don't think there's nothing much to say at all. I think that's about it for this upgrade kit video. And hopefully... I, I don't know if I'm going to do other upgrade kit videos. It depends on... Um, it probably depends on if I want to do them or not. But I'll let you guys know, though, um, sooner. But I think that's about it for, for the upgrade kit of Shockwave. And so be sure to like, subscribe, press the notification button, follow me on Instagram, comment down below, and I'll see you on my next video. Thank you for watching.